I will start this off with I love you. You know that? You guys are great. I'm proud of you. Even with uh, your gaming, some of you could do a little bit better, and some of you could be more serious at times. And some of you, I do get worried that you will not care as much in the moments you need to care. You know, that's how you should open things. You know that? That's what Paul would do in the Bible every time. Before he would rip into a church, he would always open it with something nice about them. He would always tell them what they did good, and then he would tell them what they could work on. Keep that in mind before you start ripping people apart. Tell them what they did good first, okay? Promise you. It's, it's always great. You watch your life change. If you, you watch your interactions change, okay? So, we're going to talk about risk. That's what I want to talk about. This is going to be a crazy feel, I think, because the concept has to do with what we talked about yesterday. And I want to talk about taking big risk, but I want to talk about it in the philosophical sense. What was I telling you guys yesterday? You have to appreciate. Appreciate, 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 appreciate. Right? And what did I say the reason was for? What did we say yesterday? Appreciate so it could help you make what? Hmm? Mm -mm -mm. I'll drink my coffee. Mm -hmm. Decisions. So you can make better decisions. Now, naturally, tell me this. A lot of you heard that yesterday. Appreciate, appreciate. Like, oh, what do you appreciate? Do you appreciate this? Some of you got hit with it. There's two levels of appreciation. One, appreciation hangover. But then now, how many of you, when you heard appreciate, and then you started looking back at your life, if you really thought about it, you, you were very appreciative, but then it kind of led to this dilemma of, you know, or this question of, am I unappreciative if I want more? Or if I'm so appreciative, maybe I should be complacent and not make a move. <laughs> maybe I, should, I, I appreciate what I have, so I'm not going to do anything. Did that come out naturally? Anybody? Is that just, is that just me then? Is that, I'm, because I think if not, I don't think you thought about it then. I really, really don't think you thought about it if that's the case. Then you got to go take a step back and think about what you really appreciate because it should have brought you to this point at one level where now when you're really, really thinking about it, it should have came to the point of saying, I do appreciate this, these things in my life, but I naturally, I want something. I want more. I want, but this is what I want to do. But then now how do you go from, if I go after this, am I appreciate, am I, you know what I'm saying? It's contradicting. <laughs> Remember, you got to live through a contradiction. So what's the other part now? The hangover. Don't forget about the hangover. How many of you guys yesterday, <laughs> you go, you go, you feel it. You're like appreciative. You like it. You start thinking about it. And then you start thinking about it. And then you do feel appreciative. And you do think about these things, but then later towards the day, or even maybe you don't feel it yet, maybe to later today, something's going to happen, or you're going to do something, and it's going to kind of contradict that feeling of appreciativeness, and then, and then you're going to kind of have that hangover, where it's like you kind of feel the same way you did, and you feel it a little bit. But then you kind of slip up, or you're just not as appreciative in a moment, or maybe you start thinking about what you want. And then now it's kind of like a hangover in a way. It's already happened already. It should have. I think, it, I think it, it, most people, will ha it'll happen the day after. That's very for 80% of people, I would say. So yesterday, I think a lot of you were hyped and then you, you hit into something, myself included. I, I, there's a lot of stuff and I was like, man, like I'm trying to be appreciative, man. I'm like, Why? Then I was like, this is a long ass journey. Every day I got to remind myself. I just wanted to do it once. <laughs> but it doesn't work like that, unfortunately. But you got the hangover. You got the hangover. And then now you're like, well, shit, maybe I shouldn't do anything. <laughs> I'm so appreciative. Maybe I shouldn't reach for the fucking stars. May uh, you know, maybe, maybe if I want more, I'm not being appreciative. I know. Oh, I uh, Again, you didn't. If, if you didn't come to that thought, I want you to really think about being appreciative then, because that it'll it'll push you there. So, 
why am I bringing this up? Why did, what does this have to do with risk now? Because this is why I was thinking about a lot of stuff. And I have to make some big decisions here. Uh, I'm, I, you know, honestly, I go through a lot of shit. Nobody, know, nobody really knows. I think a few people do, but nobody really does. I mean, I don't know if it's good or bad. I think, I, 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 I think it's good. I praise God. I think God has my back no matter what. Regardless, some stuff's intimidating. Some stuff's big. I don't, you know, God is good. I'll, I'll just give it up to God and we'll, we'll move forward from there. But what I'm telling you with this is that, I, you know, I have to make big decisions. I have to do a lot of different things and, and stuff you don't even know about. Some you may relate, you may not. But at the end of the day, how do I need to make a big decision? I'm, I'm, I'm in the same spot. I'm like, well, I appreciate this. I do this. But if, if I shoot for this, if I aim for this, does that not make me appreciative? And then it really came down to me looking at the risk. That's what, that's what all this came, because I was like, I appreciate it so I could make a better decision, but the risk is always going to be making the decision. That's it. You see? And then that's where the next part is. You, you guys think I'm fucking crazy. I don't know what the fuck you think I'm on. Honestly, you thought I'm here to what? Just tell you about the Bible and this and that, all this stuff when I'm just, what this concept boils down to, I'm saying be appreciative so you guys could learn how to take the risk. Do you see the concept now? Appreciation goes hand in hand with taking a fucking risk. This is what I'm trying to tell you so you could know what it is. But this is why a lot of people like me for this uh, in, in my business circle, even, even different circles. I've had people because they at this moment, some of you, this moment is when people realize I'm crazy. Not crazy like psycho, maybe a little bit. But where they're like, you are fucking weird. Or because usually they thought, they assumed something about me based off of a, a level of interaction. So if you only base it off of what I told you yesterday, what are you thinking? <laughs> You're thinking, I just want you to be appreciative. You're probably like, Josh is going through some shit. You're like, going, but ah, yeah, but yeah, but do that. You're like, all right, you think it, you know what I'm saying? You think it's, well, I don't even know what you think it is. But then I'm coming back to you today and I'm saying, I hope you're ready. And I hope you thought about it. Because we need to take some huge risks. <laughs> Y'all don't get, you see? Y'all did, you didn't see that coming. I don't, I mean, I hope some of you did, but at that point, that's where a lot of people like me now. Because I've said some people, it's like when I'm like, no, 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 I'll tell you everything about weed, drugs, anything. Doesn't mean I'm not down. No, <laughs> you see, all I'm saying is you got to tell me, you have to know what you could appreciate so you can make the risk. And that's where people are like, oh, but that it's like the coin. I'm open to it. But if I flip the, you got, are you willing? I know you're open to it too, but are you willing to listen to it? You see what I'm saying? I'll flip the fucking coin. I don't care. If you want to do this and do that, but are you, if it doesn't do what you want to do, I'll agree with, I don't want to, I'll agree. We'll listen to it. Mm -mm -mm. Ah. Mm -mm -mm. So this concept before we take risk I'm giving you a step by step before you take risk what must one do before the risk is taken, you should. Mm -mm. Appreciate. That's where it starts. <laughs> Isn't that funny? Most of you take a risk so that your account appreciates. I think that's humorous. I love how words fit like that always like positioning and like gun like positions with gun everything isn't that funny yeah i think it's always funny i love it i love it hmm so if you don't appreciate take a risk chances are you won't appreciate your account i've seen that happen many times but most people i've seen appreciate what they have appreciate their money they take a risk and usually it leads to appreciation tlt is a great example Remember, we, you guys realized before the second TLT, we hit a bunch of trades and we kept the profit. 
How many of you remember January and February, me screaming of earnings and saying, we're not giving the profit back this time. And then we hit TLT two weeks later. You appreciate it, you'll see what happens. That's where it starts. And now this is where we talk about risk. I love it. Because this is why I'm like, you hear what I was saying yesterday. Some of you thought it was just this. You guys thought it was some soft bullshit. But I'm telling you, something's about to happen. Something's get get your fucking head in the game. Some of you are going to have to make decisions. You're going to have to make the most important decisions. The decisions that you make can change your life. If the world goes crazy, the market, there's opportunity. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> ah! I love it. But some of you don't get that. And some, some of you may not be ready to take the risk. It don't take a risk if you don't know what's happened. You see that you have to understand before you take the risk. And now, this is the, this is the point. I love the Bible. Some, a lot of people don't like the Bible because, again, you guys think you know about the Bible. The Bible sounds corny. The Bible sounds soft. But this is what I started to think about yesterday. Every, every story, any real leader in the Bible... They were called there to do what? Every single book in the with some of them, what is there? Mm-mm-mm. <laughs> Serve, bring God's message, instruction, witness. Yes, you're right. All of those are right. But every single thing was telling him to take a risk. God didn't ask anybody to do anything without taking a gigantic risk every single time. He said, you want to be my disciple? Go leave your business. Drop everything you're doing right now and follow me. You say you want to do this? Go do this. Oh, go walk through the fucking valley desert go to the go to this king and tell him you're not gonna you don't listen to him and tell him he's gonna get clapped do you see what i'm saying like literally almost all of the stories is lit sacrifice your son dude it gets you'll look at it it's just all it is is risk after risk after risk after risk it's documenting stories of risks that people took Risk takes faith. Bible teaches faith. Amen. I agree so. I agree. So literally, that's what I'm saying this whole time. Like some of you think like you have to realize like you're not getting whether you're a good person, whether if you're a believer, this this means something extra to you. Honestly, stand a little bit stronger with your chest to the sun. If you're not, it doesn't matter. It's the same concept. You're just not going to emotionally hit you the same. It's very, very simple. You're gonna you're you're gonna have to take big risks, and a lot of the way to to make these movements, a lot of the philosophy, getting in the right thing, like you said, it takes faith. You're saying have faith in every risk we take. So you're saying I've said what I've needed to say. Before you risk, you must appreciate. But a lot of people don't want to appreciate. Some of you think appreciating is stupid. Some of you are like, why should I appreciate? You don't see the value in it. Just like the Bible. Some of you are like, why would I read the Bible? You think it's a story. You think it's useless stories from thousands of years ago. When you're out here trying to take risk, you need to appreciate to take risk, and that's it. Think about that. That's why I'm like, go appreciate but get ready to take risk. Or at the same time now, if you're ready to take a risk, a lot of those stories, it tells you how they end up. You could see when people appreciated. You could see when they didn't. You could see when they sought wisdom and they appreciated the counsel they had and they sought it and you could see when they didn't. That's it. If you don't appreciate, don't take a risk. But if you're ready to appreciate, you're ready to take risk. And then now, if you are appreciative, let's like that's it. That's the next level. You see what I'm saying? Some of you are appreciative. You, you know, honestly, what I've been saying last fucking month. 
I say, some of you are good people. You're great. You're this, this. Let's, so some people are great. Now, I'm not, don't get this twisted. Do not in, misconstrue this. Some of you are going to hear this to take it as go buy this, go do this. No, it's not what I'm saying. That God will speak to you. You'll, you'll find your way with it. But you see what I'm saying is that now if you appreciate and really take the time to appreciate what you have, and if you really do, well, the next thing you're going to be called to is risk. But once you really understand what you have and can appreciate what you have, you could truly understand the risk that you're taking. But then you will have faith to go through with it. This doesn't, yeah, this applies to anything. This could be your new business, the new house, the new, anything. Maybe something old too. So, mm -mm -mm. I'm excited. I'm ready to take a risk. I want to see it, but then, and again, that's just what I'm saying. Every single, just, there's a reason why, and the I didn't realize it. Every story in the Bible, these dudes are taking gigantic risks. I'm just saying, it's not as soft and, and lovey-dovey as you think. It's not as appreciation, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Even appreciation in general. It's not this what you think it is. I think a lot of you, especially if you're younger, you're, you're more immature about this, you're not getting it. You see what I'm saying? But some of you are, and you have the armor on, and I hope it is, because let's go. That's what's going to happen. If you could appreciate your armor, appreciate everything, all the hits you've taken, all of that, get ready, because a risk is going to come next. But use that appreciation to understand the risk that is coming. Because when you understand the risk, you will know how to move so you can protect what you appreciate, protect yourself, while at the same time, though, get where you need to go. Because being appreciative does not mean you do nothing. Ha-ha. Do you see? How does, how does one eat but remain hungry? This is the point. I don't want, because I don't want that. Again, I want you to be appreciative. Being appreciative helps. But some of you will take that to be complacent, and it does not mean that. What we're saying is appreciation leads to risk. And that's why I love why is it, I love the paradox. Because if you can't appreciate what we said on appreciation, you're missing the key concept to take the biggest risk of your life. Because <laughs> how can you take the biggest risk of your life if you don't really appreciate it? You don't even know what your life is. You don't even know what you have. Ah, that's all I'm saying. But then when you do know what you have, then you know what's at stake. But then you know what you can lose and you know what you put into it. But then at the same time, you know you still must proceed despite. Because how did you get there? Oh, rinse and repeat. You probably took a risk. Mm -mm -mm. Am I on shrooms? Are you bothered by what I'm saying? <laughs> have you been not appreciative? Have you been plagued with handling risk? Or have you just jumped into risk without appreciating life? Maybe not even appreciating the words I'm saying. <sighs> Scary. Imagine you had somebody here every day to help you and tell you. I get it. I would be bothered too. Mm -mm -mm. No, think about it. That's why I said all day. It's okay. No, just think about it. I like it now. If something as simple as appreciate so you could take risk bothers you, that means you fucked up on one of those areas. It's okay. <laughs> so it's true. Expert rules compact infringed patent. What's expert? Hmm. What's the difference between neglecting and appreciating this philosophy? What you do with it? That's it. What's the difference between neglecting and appreciating the cash balance? When you're up on a play, do you take the profits or not? That's it. Are you going to go and appreciate after this? Or are you going to go and take a risk without ever thinking about anything that you appreciate in life? 
Are you going to continue to move on in life thinking that you're going to get you literally taking risks without going through the right step? Imagine how many useless risks have you taken in your life? Applying this standard now, how many useless risks have you taken? Meaning you took a risk, but you didn't really understand it. You, you weren't appreciative about it. But then, and maybe who knows, sometimes it worked, sometimes it didn't. But it makes sense. So a few, I've, I mean, I've, it's, I think we've all been there many, many times. I think probably more than we would like to even admit. <laughs> to to be honest, you know? So at the end of the day, the key is appreciation and the key is understand risk and understand that this is what's needed to take it to the next level. And that's what's going to happen once you are appreciative and you master some things, get ready to go up more. But then also at the same time, like, Nobody was called to do big things without taking big risks. So a lot of you are working really hard to get comfortable. I'm, well, newsflash. You can stay comfortable if you appreciate what you have. You see what I'm saying? But then appreciate what you have. But then it, it's, again, it's a very paradoxical dilemma because you, you're, you're one step away from complacency, one step away from appreciation. So... What I'm saying is use these hand in hands to understand both. Understand when to move, when not to move. But at the same time, there's a whole book about taking risk. And then you'll notice certain patterns. But all of this, that I, it just caught my eye when I thought about this. Because I said every, almost everybody in the Bible is just a book about taking a risk. Or what they are commanded to do is risky. How, why? That, you see what I'm saying? That, that gives you a different view. You think it's a book telling people to do, to do this, do that, do this. It's just, it's risk. These guys are going out doing this. Like, it's wild. And that's why I'm like, huh, it's funny. Yesterday, what I was thinking about, and it led me into this. Because, again, I told you yesterday, the things I was thinking about is because I need to make decisions. <laughs> so I hope you're making decisions. I'm laughing because I'm like, man, that, that's, that's crazy. If you haven't been, maybe you haven't, if you do you have to make big decisions? I do. Maybe it's small to you. Maybe it's big to you. I don't know. But if you're going to be making, if you're going to have to make decisions, I hope you're thinking about them. Because one decision could change a lot and it could, that's all it takes, good and bad. But you got to start. So it's very simple. It's the concept of the book and all of the risk associated, but it's just a simple step. Appreciate. That's all you think about? Just appreciate then. That's, all, that's what I'm saying. The first step isn't think about that. The first step is appreciate. Then we can move forward. And if you haven't reached appreciation, I would consider rethinking risk that's it so get ready <laughs> and get ready and maybe you feel like you need to take the risk what should you stop and do maybe you feel it one day maybe you, you see tlt what should you do before you make the trade before you copy me plan fuck your plan <laughs> <laughs> it's like everywhere people say this that all of that i don't get stop and appreciate appreciate what you got and think about what you have do you appreciate how much money how much money do you appreciate why are you putting more money than me if you don't know anything about it why are you putting you did take a risk you're right but you didn't appreciate what you had so you ended up losing a lot more than you really wanted to every time every time <laughs> without without fail so keep that in mind and appreciate it's simple i'm just giving you a step by step start start appreciating you appreciate we're ready to risk you want to risk without appreciation you're doing it wrong 
Only the devil will get you to risk without uh, appreciating. Only, only the scammer trying to give you the speakers is going to get you to take the risk without understanding the appreciation. Only a pump and dump gets you to take the risk without appreciating, without understanding it. So there you go. That is your philosophy, ladies and gentlemen. Make sure you guys are subscribed. We're live Monday through Friday, 30 minutes for open. Drop your thumbs up on the video. You're on mobile. Press high chat. X out the chat. Hit the thumbs up button. Second link for the Nightly Watch. This main channel. First link for the Scrape Alerts Bootcamp and Real Estate Course. Follow me on Instagram at The Trading Fraternity. And follow us on Twitch. Trading Fraternity right there in the chat. That was beautiful. You're beautiful. I love all of you guys.